one bright bright guy here. Um, as you can see, Damian Maya versus Kobe Covington at uh, Fight Night. What is it? Fight Night 119. Um, it's gonna be a good fight in the welterweight division. Neither guy has faced has faced each other, and neither guy have similar opponents. Two of the best welterweights um, in that division right now. Two of the best. Um, you know, it's gonna be a very good fight. It's gonna be a very close fight. It's gonna be interesting to see. Covington has a wrestling background. He has has an NCAA wrestling background, and then we obviously know Maya has his jiu-jitsu well-documented background. One of the best jiu-jitsu practitioners in the world, probably the best in MMA right now. Um, it's be interesting if Kobe takes him down, what he can do with Maya, with being on top of Maya, because Maya has no problem being on his back. He has no problem getting submissions off his back, so it would be very dangerous for Kobe to do that. Uh, if I was Kobe, I would stand with Maya just because I feel maybe my striking is a bit better than Maya, even though Maya is getting better and better every day with his striking. It's come a long way since Nate Marquardt, since that fight. Um, Maya's learned a lot from earlier in his career, and he's changed up his game plan. Uh, he still heavily li relies on his jiu-jitsu. Why not? Um, but his, his striking is getting better. This is going to be a good fight. Um, it's not going to be a head turner. It's not. It's just a very interesting matchup. I know Covington. He's still new to MMA. He's thirteen and one. He's been doing it since two thousand twelve. Uh, his last fight, he went on the mic and he called out everyone. He's ready to fight. He's ready to go. He wants that title shot. He thinks he's ready for it. He he wants to. You know, he wants that big payday. He wants that big fight. And Maya's a big fight. Not so much a big payday, but it's a big fight. Um, unfortunately, I don't think he gets it done. Maya is still one one of the best welterweights in the world and still up there with the top guys. Covington's in the top 10, but he, he's on the latter half of that top 10. And I think he goes in, fights Maya, and gets submitted. Um, I don't think he gets the job done. Is this... I don't know if this is a main event. I'm about to check that now. It's not listed at the main event. Uh, that's the Machida Brunson main event. I'll be doing a prediction video for that uh, at some point, probably tomorrow. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is there'll be a three-round fight, and I can see Maya doing a nice little third-round submission. Um, I just think he gets it done. He's just that much better than uh, Covington. He's a veteran. He's had a few title fights in his UFC career. He's faced nothing but top dogs his whole. MMA career, especially his UFC career, so I got Maya round three submission. Um, Covington's got a bright future in the UFC, bright future in the welterweight division. Uh, he's just facing a demon right now. If he were to win, this would be a huge win for him. Um, not saying he won't win. I'm just doing a prediction of what I feel is the best, uh, not best, uh, most likely outcome. You know, that's what a prediction video, predictions, a prediction, excuse me, is. It's just kind of going what you think is the best, or I keep saying that, what do you, what do you think the most likely outcome is, and I think uh, Maya submitting him is, and I'll give him a three-round uh, war with Maya, and yeah, Maya, yeah, <laughs> Kobe, Kobe Covington versus Damian Maya, and Damian Maya, round three sub, I'm Brad Bright Guy, thank you for watching.